Hi everybody, this is Om Shiva Prakash here from Bangalore. Uh, I'll just quickly go to the next slide. Uh, I wanted to talk uh, to all of you about uh, the digital archiving requirements for building OERs in local languages. This becomes very important for a country like India where we speak hundreds of languages. And uh, uh, this is quickly about myself. I'm a Wikipedian, Mozillaan. I've been contributing to CC. I'm currently a CC certificate alumni. Uh, I, I uh, contributed to Eltonin projects, Mozilla, uh, LibreOffice, etc. And currently, I'm building my own startup. Uh, I've been a strong supporter for Floss. Uh, I've been building language technologies for uh, my native language, that is Kannada. Uh, I've become an archivist. We have been archiving a lot of books on Internet Archive. I've been supporting Open Data as well. And yes, so this is why I started uh, working on digital archiving. So there are a lot of challenges in open content, especially for my language and also for open languages, uh, Indian languages. Uh, these are the few uh, challenges uh, that I could list quickly. Uh, there are no verified, verifiable resources on the internet for various regional topics, lack of open content, lack of understanding about licensing and copyrights, and a lot of need for using standardization. So in, using international standards for the local projects being run by uh, community members, governments, etc., and a need for a larger collaboration. So. Most of these things uh, limited my uh, possible contributions to Wiki at one stage. So then I started uh, chasing for references through various digitization projects that I initiated for myself. Yes, so digitization projects for identifying the uh, language tech problems to create resources. And we started, uh, we wanted to encourage uh, community participation around language technology development. And, uh, and we also wanted to uh, find the permanent solutions through Elton and open data contributions, uh, hackathons, etc. Uh, to set an example, uh, to use, uh, uh, to showcase how to use standards for various language projects, uh, especially in my home state. So uh, we built two major uh, uh, platforms. Uh, one is sanchaya.org, wherein we started digitizing uh, uh, Canada literature from 10th and 12th century uh, literature to start with. We wanted people to understand that the Unicode is the standard to be used on web. So we started this project back in 2010. In 2014, we had a, a big portal which uh, allowed people to research 25,000 uh, vachanas or poems written in 10th uh, and 11th century, and we allowed that platform to be used by researchers, educators, students, and even the common people. And that was made accessible, and even the visually challenged people were able to make use of the tool and easily search through the literature. So uh, you can see that we have used hypothesis and many other tools there, and uh, uh, we released uh, the content uh, under CC and. Along with that, we also worked on building art, history, and culture uh, audio-visual uh, documentation uh, for our language uh, under our Sanchea Foundation. And we have, so far, we have recorded around 350 hours of uh, visual content, and we have made it available on various platforms. And uh, this helped us build a lot of uh, uh, partnerships, uh, such as NINASAM, CFTRI, IASC, Kamath Foundation, etc. And here is the result. So we were able to find uh, some of the results which were already there uh, on the internet uh, through government initiatives. We found the accessibility problems. We were able to make around 6,000 plus books, uh, uh, titles, etc., index uh, localized and made available for people. And uh, we'll quickly go to the next slide. And these are the uh, various uh, partnerships that we built. We are currently working with public resource uh, uh, .org and internet. We are using Internet Archive Scanner 
and in 16 months we have digitized 3000 plus books in 11 languages in that i have uh, 1050 books which are uh, related to my language and we have uh, 550k pages to be used as a reference material and it can also be used to create various uh, new oer uh, solutions for our kids uh, yes and under this we were able to uh, reach out to 10 plus uh, authors and authors families who released most of their content in creative commons license currently it is all available on internet archive and we also digitized various uh, uh, local magazines with permission and also some of them which were supposed to be archived uh, and uh, one of that is kasturi which is also known as the Reader's Digest for Canada. And we have the complete 50 years of archive on Internet Archive at Quebec. Uh, the, the next slide, I uh, have showcased uh, what we do uh, and the type of books that we have digitized. And, uh, and the final slide, I have the subjects that we have been able to cover through our work in the last uh, couple of uh, years in digital archive and there we go so uh carl malmald of public resource.org who has been my mentor in digital archiving from last two years uh, keeps saying that the scanning is the new spinning uh following the mahatma gandhi's uh movement here in india for freedom uh, and as we speak we just finished our third internet archive setup here in mangalore so i'm talking right uh, from mangalore today and there we go. That's it. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm ready for any questions. All right. Thank you. That is an amazing set of work that you have. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open for questions. Feel free to unmute yourself and ask, or you can ask in the chat. I was very much worried about uh, crossing the time. <laughs> I was able to make it. Good. So while all of you uh, think about questions, so we have around 16 plus projects running, and most of these projects have been my uh, uh, part-time uh, projects, which I did uh, uh, as a part of uh, my language, uh, the uh, love for my language and stuff, and we were able to solve most of the uh, very interesting uh, technical issues for our language.